Okay, so fun day, we finally have shapes inside of a circle. So we call something inscribed if it's sitting perfectly inside the circle. So this inscribed triangle has all three vertices on that circle, okay? Um, and if you notice, each angle is inscribed. Angle B is sitting on that circle out there. Angle C sitting on the circle over there. And angle A is sitting on the circle up there. Okay, so all those create um, inscribed angles, which is pretty interesting. And if you did the warm up a second ago, you remembered that half of a an arc is the inscribed circle that goes through it. So if 90 degrees is up there, I get to jump down and draw a 45 degrees down here. C has to be 45 degrees because it perfectly intersects that minor arc right there. Same concept, A is going through the arc of 118 right there. So if I cut 118 in half, I get 59. Okay, and then if I double 76, that's going to give me this last pink arc over here. At 76 times 2 is 152 degrees. So again, just to summarize what we just talked about, each vertex of the triangle is an inscribed angle. And it's one half of the arc that it intersects. Okay. Now, what's also really, really interesting is that if you look at 90, 152, and 118, if you were to connect those three arcs, hopefully you're seeing it, that you would have 360 degrees all together. 152 plus 118 plus 90 all equals 360 degrees. So when you have an inside inscribed triangle, you can actually figure out all of those arcs and all of those angles if you're given um, either all the angles or some of the corresponding arcs to angles there. Pretty interesting how uh, you can figure out all six pieces of information uh, when you've got that inscribed triangle there. So we've already found angle A is 59. And again, that comes from half of 118. We found that angle C was 45, and that comes from half of 90 degrees. And we found that the measure of arc AC, again, that's a minor arc because it's less than 180, and it's only got those two letters, um, is 152, and that comes from 76 times 2 which is 152. So remember the shortcut here is if you go from angle to arc, you have to multiply it by two. Multiply by two, and I'm actually gonna slide that over there. When you go from um, angle, a known angle to an arc, you multiply by two specifically the inscribed angle, um, you multiply by two. And when you go from an, uh, a minor arc, if you go from an arc to an inscribed angle, you would need to divide by two.